Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, February 8th. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ninsworth at Longmont Public Media. Got a third quarter moon in the morning sky, Monday, February 13th. The sun is pretty active in the northern hemisphere. Stuff has rotated back around after a quiet time last time. Uh, looking at drought conditions, uh, things in the western two-thirds or half or so of Colorado is great and got just a little bit better up here in the northwest. Nothing really changed on the plains. And you'll see why. It's been pretty dry this week. Looking nationally, the entire west has had a lot of drought relief. Arizona, at least southern central Arizona, is doing great. And not much changed uh, from week to week. Looking at our snowpack, doing my crude animation here. Looking to get up to... February 8th, you see we're staying up there pretty high. We're at 124% uh, of median uh, statewide. Some basins are doing much better than others, but uh, overall fantastic for water. It was pretty dry this week. We had a little bit of precipitation in the central and northern mountains, but for the most part, this is the driest week that we've had in quite a long time. Severe weather on Wednesday, I even had some tornadoes reported uh, down in the deep south on Thursday that's moving into Florida Panhandle, southern Alabama, Georgia, and goes just a little bit further on Friday into northern Florida, Georgia, South Carolina. Nationally, uh, surface, we had a front come through Wednesday night and it uh, whisked on through. I mean, there were, were snow showers, but I kept checking outside and I didn't see anything reaching the ground, so most of it evaporated. Very dry, low atmosphere, so this is way overrepresented in their map. On Thursday, we have some mountain snows. You can see the clouds kind of hugging the mountains up there on Thursday, and then everything's gone by Friday. We had a little bit of smoke from Florida region and like that, but nothing in the west. So normal temperatures are taking a bigger climb now, 45 to 47, be nice to see it back in the 50s, and nighttime temperatures from 18 to 19. There was our snow band showers Wednesday night. We do have this possibility of a midweek storm. You can see that the ensembles do not agree. There's, it's about 50-50 as to whether this is going to hold together and affect uh, Denver area. So you can see all the moisture from the tropics going into that system in the uh, south and kind of dry stuff out west. So the highlights, oh, God, why does it wrap around like that? Friday, Saturday, midnight, we have a huge ridge making this weekend very warm. Got a little trough out here on the west coast. Uh, Wednesday, is, this is our next big trough digging in. This is a really good location for some snow. So, and it's a pretty good uh, hit. So we'll see if that holds together again. We've, last week we had a possible storm next week and it totally fizzled out. I don't think a flake hit anybody I knew so <laughs> it was just not much of a system so this could easily evaporate or go north or south uh, it's so far away that it's very questionable but here's the cold front with it if it does happen uh, we should get no matter what a bunch of cold air into the west that, that large-scale cold migration is, is coming it's just whether we get precipitation out of it so let's put it in motion so we have a couple the lobes of uh, lower heights moving out of the state at the end of the weekend. The weekend is warm with this big ridge, more melting and thawing. We have a cutoff low barreling through Arizona, New Mexico, Texas to the south of us. Then for the middle of the week, this is the trough that could give us our next significant weather. And again, right now it looks good, but we'll see. Uh, it looks like four to six inches maybe if if this forecast were to hold that way it goes by the following weekend so temperatures you have snowpack in the rockies you know, cool air coming through with the cold front uh, lots of heat in the east that cold air goes south we stay really nice through the weekend very warm very uh, at, at normally warm temperatures there's that deep uh, south low bring cold air to Mexico, and then the ne next big push, a bunch of Pacific cold air pushing through. It's pretty sharp cold front. It's, yeah, look at that thing. That's beautiful. 
Um, and that sweeps warmth out of the entire nation. There's a little blob of Arctic stuff coming in too at the very tail end of the animation. So let's take a look at this. This is the Wednesday night's system sweeping through and falling apart. High and dry for the weekend. Watching that low in Arizona go down into Baja and northern Mexico. Little showers in New Mexico and it kind of consolidates into se severe weather chances. Texas, here comes our midweek storm and looks a lot like the biggest snows stay north of the state, but we definitely get uh, 12, 18 hours of precipitation and off it goes. So for precipitation over the next five days, most of that was last night and most of that didn't happen. So it was really dry for snow, very, very light. Over the next 10 days, more moisture, but still not a lot on the Eastern Plains. It's, a, it's a mountains and Western slopes again and snow, same thing. It's cold enough for snow and it was like one inch right along here, uh, two inch, three inches, very quick gradient. We're up to five, six inches for Boulder, but an inch or less along I-25. So kind of interesting. So we have 40s, 30s for uh, Thursday. We bounce back quickly to the 40s and for the weekend 50s on into the beginning of next week before the next system comes in Tuesday night, if it does. That was it. Quick and easy. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.